we all came into the world before computers, right? We came into the world before computers. Our best friend was our imagination. And we could pick up a stick and the stick could be anything, right? But now, imagine the poor children that are growing up now. Now, you, you can't have imagination because the game you're playing, the video game, has already all the options. There's only these options. So you have to function within that and you have to learn to think that way. Now children are being raised. I realize my children, my, I have a 21-year-old son, 19-year-old daughter, were raised probably more by machines than by humans. They interacted with machines on a, a, much more than they did with humans, which was probably the first generation that did that. And now it's the norm. And what I've hoped everyone's learned here is that we are primates and we, we are uh, we're land mammal primates and our, uh, our food is, uh, is the plant kingdom. Plants and, and, and all parts of plants. Fruit, the fruit, the nuts, seeds, the roots, the stems, the leaves, you know, every part. Are, are in different varieties is our food. And that's an incredible amount of... A, there are far more many plants than there are animals. The big one is about eating that we need to learn, and this is what we need to take with us, is that you don't need to eat that much. In fact, the less you eat, the longer you'll live, and the happier you'll be, and the better, and the healthier you'll be. Turns out that we should probably eat one meal a day, and maybe some. you can have some juices at the other time. The diet thing is very important. The other thing is that elimination. We, we should all know that we need to eliminate daily and that you have to understand that because even if you're eating perfectly you're not going to have the best bowel movements you're not going to have the kind of bowel movements that for instance a gorilla would and if you watch a gorilla or you watch a chimp you'll watch that they squat they don't sit on a they don't sit at a 45 degree angle they squat okay. so our colons are um, are uh, one and a half meters or five feet that's a lot of stuff that should be coming out daily the other part of our lifestyle that, um, that, that we should have learned by the time we're 18 and we, we talked about is um, our relationship with the sun and the moon. So, the sun and the moon, the reason they're important is because there's really two kinds of creatures, there's two kinds that, re that respond. Some are no nocturnal and some are diurnal. We are diurnal. And diurnal means that we uh, awaken to the sun and we go to sleep as it sets. And our, our, our hormones are established that way. And when we live that way, we, we, we can then get into close to maximal functioning, optimal functioning. So when we look at the science of those things, we know that uh, if you go to sleep before 10, and actually better, it's better by 8, your, the amount of melatonin you, you produce is much more. You get a much higher peak. Melatonin is made by the pineal gland um, and it does so many things. In addition to the obvious function of melatonin of establishing the sleep cycle, the sleep sequence, it kind of gets you, it gets the sleep sequence going. It makes the eyes droop and gets you into that rhythm. In addition to that, it turns out that every melatonin molecule, because of its configuration, is able to pick up four hydroxyl radicals, OH negatives, which are byproducts of all sorts of um, metabolic processes. Some, some natural, I mean some that occur naturally are natural waste products, and some that occur in response to the body fighting off toxins. But these OH, OH negatives are, are potent, right? So, and they, they accumulate. So throughout the day, as you're engaged in your activities, you're accumulating many different kinds of metabolic waste products, but one big one is OH negatives. And those, we know, can actually get in and can you get enough of those and you're going to have enough, you're going to have the oxidative stress uh, and produce chronic inflammation, cancer, etc.